Hey, I'm Dr. Carl Wesolowski, and uh, along with Dr. Paul Babin, who's sitting there in a white shirt in the audience, um, we've managed to put together a research team uh, to look at uh, the kidney and figure out, uh, in some very difficult patient circumstance, what kidneys, uh, how they function, and uh, thereby allow patients to be treated and diagnosed who otherwise uh, would go uh, with unrecognized conditions, uh, for example, kidney failure, um, which actually can be harder to figure out than one might suspect. Uh, fortunately, our early results show that we're doing this uh, well. Uh, good evening, everyone. My uh, name is uh, Dr. Zizis Papandreou, and I'm from the University of Regina. And uh, I'm here on behalf of a team that we have down there with two other professors, a research scientist, and uh, students. And uh, we're developing detectors uh, to uh, apply into two areas. Uh, one of them is nuclear imaging of uh, small animals and plants with which we can understand how certain things grow, such as cancers, uh, perhaps in the animals, and uh, plant growth. And then the second area is uh, cooperating with uh, industry to develop personal radiation monitors. So you'll hear about all that stuff a little bit later on. I'm Professor Ian Burgess. I'm in the Department of Chemistry at the University of Saskatchewan. Uh, my research team consists of Amanda Quirk, who's a postdoctoral fellow in the audience, uh, and colleagues at the Canadian, Canadian Neutron Beam Center in Chalk River, Ontario. And our research is uh, using a specialized uh, technique, which involves the uh, scattering of neutrons, uh, which are found at dedicated research reactors, to actually probe the interfaces of uh, biological membranes. And from that information, we hope to be able to extract information about how cell processes work. I'm Chu Jin Xiao from the Department of Physics and Engineering Physics of the University of Saskatchewan. Our team consists of myself and Dr. Hiroshi, as well as some students and postdocs. The work we are doing, the project we are doing, is to study the fusion energy for the as a long-term strategic research area. Uh, good evening, and uh, thank you all for coming tonight. I know it's a beautiful night out there, and really appreciate you taking your time to be with us. Uh, my name is Dr. Lillian Birdall. I'm an associate professor in political studies at the University of Saskatchewan. And uh, my research team consists of uh, myself, uh, Dr. Scott Bell in the Department of Geography, uh, Dr. Maureen Barassa, who's here with us uh, tonight in the, in the marketing uh, department in the Edwards School of Business, and Dr. Yana Freed, who's a postdoctoral fellow with the Social Sciences Research Laboratory at the University of Saskatchewan. What we're doing with our project is uh, we're looking to gain an understanding of, uh, of public attitudes, opinions, and beliefs with respect to the, the nuclear sector. So we're looking to get a sense of how the public feels, uh, different levels of knowledge and trust, and uh, to really bring the, bring the public context into the larger nuclear discussion in Saskatchewan.